putting your passion to change is what this is all about. SDSU's common experience. Mapping the future, sharing the world. It's about you. It's about making our world a better place. It's about choosing to be engaged. It's about a book. It's about one book, one San Diego. I would recommend this book to students because to me, the story made me feel like I was in Enrique's shoes and I could feel what he felt going through. The, the way Sonia describes the, those scenes, it, it's exciting because it, it makes you feel like you're there and you're not sure if he's gonna make it or not, if he's gonna fall. It keeps you, it makes you not wanna stop reading and read the whole book in one day. SDSU's Common Experience. Mapping the future, sharing the world. Imagine a scenario where students, faculty, staff, and community members. We have the power to make a difference. It's about the entire SDSU community. All engage in an ongoing conversation, one that's bounded by a common theme. It's about being part of something, something big. One that occurs both within and outside of the classroom. It's about students helping students. It's about making our world a better place. One that extends beyond the boundaries of the campus. It's about getting involved. Into the community and even across the world. And imagine this taking place in an age when so much of our conversation takes place in the form of 30 second sound bites. Make it cool, make it known that cool is to care. Robert Swan, a famous international polar explorer, gave an outstanding lecture to the faculty and staff here at San Diego State University, which not only inspired, but enlightened and made students want to make a change. Where this started was when I was 11, and I saw a film about Antarctica, and we're standing on my best friend, our beautiful yacht 2041, that's been to Antarctica eight times, been through those rough seas. And when I made some journeys to the South Pole and the North Pole on foot, I touched things like global warming and climate change. Personally, walked on ice that melted, and saw garbage and rubbish at both poles. It's about sustainability. And now we're on a voyage for cleaner energy, because I think it's really important that young people worldwide especially in the United States of America, engage on this issue of clean, renewable energy. It's about taking action into your own hands. Go right in there and make a difference. Don't stand on the outside and say, oh, well, isn't it terrible? Go in, make a difference, inspire them. If you're determined, you can make your dreams come true, and students we're able to learn that yes, they too can make a difference. Your mission is so inspiring and I know that no matter what obstacles I'll, I'll face in my lifetime, which there will be many, that I'll be able to continue to do that and make a real change in the world. It's about making our world a better place. Tracy Kidder became a Pulitzer Prize winning author by following Paul Farmer around, another amazing human being who started Partners in Health and now helps third world nations with our health care. I think one point of Paul Farmer's story is that we should take heart from the example that he and his colleagues have set. Um, they've shown that one small group of people can in fact improve the world. Uh, you're in school partly to improve yourselves, but if you study organic chemistry, for example, and the only point you see in studying organic chemistry is to learn the material well enough to pass tests, then organic chemistry tends to be pretty hard. However, if part of the reason you take the course is to, because you think you might uh, be doing a job five or 10 years from now that involves organic chemistry, then it gets a whole lot easier. I know this from experience. If at least part of the time you get your mind off yourself and out into the world, the work of school gets easier. You do the work, but for a larger purpose. And if one of your goals is to find a way to improve the world, I, I don't think you have to worry a great deal about improving yourself. Uh, if you begin to do the first thing, then you will, by my definition anyway, have already begun to do the second. It's about using what you know to make things happen. I've been doing this kind of work um, for the last 20 years, traveling to, you know, principally to Asia and writing about social issues and human rights. But I did have a sense that 
Greg Mortensen's story and, and the story of Three Cups of Tea had the potential to really uh, join the national conversation. So Greg and I talked about it and he, uh, he asked if I'd write the book and I said I can't think of anything more important than that. And thus began my three year uh, journey of chasing Greg Mortensen all over the world. It's about students helping students. Building schools around the world. Afterwards, I started walking around the village. I went behind the village and saw 84 children sitting in the dirt during their school lessons. Five girls, 79 boys. Most of the kids were riding with sticks in the sand. You know, sometimes this might seem kind of kindergarten-ish, but sometime when you're outside, try and do two minutes of your homework in the sand with a stick. Just see what it feels like. Try, try to do some you know, algebra or trigonometry or calculus or just for two minutes and really see what it feels like. It, it, it really gives you, I think, some awareness of really what it's like there. When a young girl named Chocho came up to me and asked for help to build a school, I made a promise that day that it'd help them. It's about empathy. Tolerance. Understanding. I thought, here's a guy, Greg Mortensen, who is fighting the war on terror in the only way I think it can be effectively fought by going after the root causes of terrorism. And the root causes are not guys named Osama or Saddam. The root causes are poverty and ignorance. It's about peace, not war. It's about books, not bombs. Really, if you look at the nitty gritty, you know, you can lob a cruise missile from 100 miles away. That costs about $840,000. You can spend the same amount of money on several dozen schools that are gonna give kids a good non-extremist education over a generation. And which do you think will ultimately make us safer? The fall 2008 Common Experience will begin an intellectual engagement by reading Three Cups of Tea, one man's mission to promote peace, one school at a time. It's an experience that will continue beyond the book with lectures, discussions, events, exhibits, films. So, how are you going to get involved? I'm involved. I'm involved. I'm involved. I'm involved. I'm involved. I'm involved. Are you? I think it's important to just take one step forward, to start with a penny or a seed or an idea or one child. And also, I think it's important that we listen to our heart or our intuition. Um, I have a saying in my bathroom mirror, a quote by Judith Campbell, it says, when your heart speaks, take good notes. We try so hard in our society to be linear and logical and strategic. But often, I think what's most important is that we listen to our heart, and when our heart speaks, we should take good notes.